Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. <clears throat> I went ahead and pulled a few cards to get the overall energy of what's going on. This can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rolls as needed. And keep in mind this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are in the description box for my channel, okay? So, you've got red on you. We're in love. We just want to be together. What's wrong with that? Some people are worth melting for in the reverse. And may the force be with you in the reverse. So somebody could have been trying to get someone to stay with them. They could have been using some sort of forceful tactics or underhanded tactics to get somebody to stay with them. But their heart is not with this person, um, with this karmic energy, um, this person. This karmic energy is red. It's like they're seeing red. Their face is red. They're just furious because somebody is in love with a divine femme or divine masculine. And this is very upsetting for this person. They really, really wanted to keep this person trapped up um, in a relationship with them. And their forceful tactics did not work. My silence is a thousand words. So this person is like um, not communicating with this karmic energy. So this could be your divine counterpart who is ghosting a karmic to come towards you. And um, it's like this karmic energy is trying to reach out to this person and they're silent. They're not responding. They're not giving them um, the attention that they're wanting or craving. This person could also be very codependent. They push this per person's buttons intentionally. Um, and they know they're keeping a secret, want to know a secret. So someone could be antagonizing someone like, I know your secret. I know what you're doing. I know you're going to go towards your divine femme, your divine masculine. I know you're going towards this person. I know that's why you don't want to be with me. It's because you want this person. They've been your side piece the whole time. Like someone is intentionally trying to, um, get someone to react and they're talking all kinds of shit, trying to get someone to react and snap off on them. A rolling stone gathers no moss. So um, this person, this is not new tactics for this karmic energy. It's like, it's like the same shit over and over. So whoever they're trying to do this to, it's like they're used to it. They know what they're doing and they're not interested in getting baited into an argument. Love you with all my butt. My heart isn't that big. This person's heart is not with this relationship with this karmic um, this person does not love them. And especially, I mean, maybe they did have some feelings for this person, but they don't love them with their whole heart because their heart belongs to a divine femme or a divine masculine, whether they've already been in a relationship with this person or not. Their heart belongs to somebody else. And this just makes this, um, your divine counterpart want to laugh at them, or you could be this person um, laughing at a karmic, take it how it resonates, which, whichever way you fall in this scenario. Don't make me laugh. I'm mad at you. It's almost laughable. Like this person who's dealing with a karmic, whether it's you or your divine counterpart, it's like you're laughing at this person. It's like their tactics are old. They're played out. Um, you may even find it amusing at this point just because you're, you're, you're so used to it. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's old, old news. Fake news. <laughs> and no, I'm not a Trump fan. <laughs> Someone is um, possibly suspended from coming towards you until they cut ties with this person um, or this karmic is trying to keep this person suspended from coming towards you. Um, they could be trying to work out and get back in shape. Um, they feel like they've been a doormat for too long regarding this karmic energy. Someone packed up and left or someone had to pack up and move. So this could be the karmic energy who has to pack up and move or a divine femme or divine masculine is packing up and leaving um, this karmic because they're tired of their shit. There's something significant about a locked door. So somebody could have moved and somebody could have changed the locks on a door. Um, and someone is trying to throw some more shit someone's way, but it's the opera singer. Someone is... Um, trying to make something happen that just isn't going to because the fat lady has already saying someone is being strong or courageous or persevering through something. This could be your divine counterpart seeing you as this way, or you could be viewing your divine counterpart as this way. 
somebody was watching somebody and trying to keep them going back and forth. This karmic energy was trying to keep someone going back and forth. Someone needs resources. And um, so somebody may be stuck because they need resources or they're working on gaining resources. Um, or someone is stuck because they're trying to get resources from someone and it's not happening. So this karmic energy could be trying to get some sort of finances from this divine femme or masculine energy. And um, they're not getting it. Um, so maybe there, it's something to do with the house or some sort of property or shared real estate, something like that. Um, somebody could be trying to go get resources from the house and this person had to change the locks on this karmic after they left because they were trying to come in and steal shit when the person wasn't home. Someone could have a headache. Their eyelids are heavy. Someone's being depressed. Um, someone could be eating more junk food, more cereal, more sugary foods. Um, someone is very um, sad that their tactics aren't working. It's like the person caught on to them, so um, it's kind of like they're just stuck and stagnant, and they, they're just going to have to face the reality of the situation that this person does not want to be with them anymore. But somebody doesn't want to see through the illusion or see something clearly. They don't want to accept that it's over. But your divine counterpart or you are going to be set free from this situation because someone is a fool. You're carefree. Um, someone's trying to get under your skin and it's just not bothering you. Someone rushed in with some sort of lie to try to keep somebody trapped. This could have been um, even saying that they were pregnant or something to do with finances. Um, they could have said they're broke. They can't do something on their own. They need help. Somebody could have also lied to have someone else juggling finances as a control tactic to keep them um, forced into a relationship that they were trying to get out of. So somebody could have lied, tried to get somebody fired so that they would lose their job and be codependent on another person so they couldn't leave. some message cards here. There are children involved in this. So somebody could be using children um, saying they need money for their kids, for diapers, for clothes, for school supplies. And this person is saying, I don't want you. Like It's like this person is like, well, don't you want to see your child? Don't you want to? Isn't junior so-and-so important to you? And it's like, yes, I want to see my child. I don't want you. I mean, what part of that are you not understanding? That's what this person is saying to the karmic. Um, they're tired of this shit. Pissing everyone off is a piece of cake. This karmic energy has a lot of people pissed off based on whatever lie they wrote in and told on somebody to try to have them juggling finances. Um, it's like they're using all kinds of dirty tactics. Um, they're saying they didn't try to set someone up. No, I didn't call the police on you to get you arrested. I was just trying to do this or I didn't mean to do that or, you know, it wasn't on purpose. But somebody could have actually gone to jail and this was another control tactic or somebody could have tried to have someone arrested um, because they didn't get their way. So maybe somebody changed the locks on them. They wouldn't let them in the house. Uh, maybe something got broken. Maybe they busted through the door. Um, I don't know. Um, somebody needed to up their spiritual protection regarding this karmic. Um, this person has lost their spiritual protection if they had any to begin with. Because the divine femme or divine masculine, whether this is you or your counterpart, you were innocent in the situation. Um, somebody was getting late night phone calls or had a second phone. So there was a karmic who was talking to somebody else behind the scenes, plotting and trying to figure out how to keep someone trapped in a relationship because they said, I can't see you. So someone told this karmic they didn't want to be with them anymore. And somebody was uh, possibly had a second phone or using a second phone to speak to someone or get some sort of um, ideas or being coached into what to do to keep this person in a relationship with them. It's like, okay, trapping them with a child didn't work. Um, doing this didn't work. This person missed the trap. Um, thank God. But it wasn't for a lack of trying. This karmic energy is saying, I didn't set you up. I didn't set you up. And this person very clearly barely missed a trap that was set for them um, to keep them 
trapped in this relationship that um, they didn't want to be in. Somebody could have gotten pregnant or fake pregnancy. What did I say? Someone could have trapped somebody with a pregnancy and with a child to keep them in this relationship. And it doesn't matter. This person wants out anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if there's a kid anymore. Someone is a carrier. So somebody caught something. Could be an STD. Uh, male could be significant. Um, stop making me angry. So somebody could be pissed off and stealing somebody's um, like court documents. Like if they're going through a divorce or something, this person could be going and taking their court orders or court summons out of the mail. So they don't know they're supposed to even be up, appearing to court. You are deceiving yourself in the reverse. Yes, this person was deceiving themselves and they had bad cops and corrupt law officials involved in this. So there were corrupt law officials that could have been acting like they served someone a summons and they never did because some of those things have to be served um, face to face. So they could have lied and said that they gave somebody a summons and they never did. Somebody didn't even know they were supposed to be going to court. Somebody was being spiteful. Someone is being spiteful. This came out sideways. So someone is being spiteful or they're going to be doing something shady and spiteful in the future. This person needs to be honest with themselves. This person is in extreme denial. Find someone to love you. I don't. I'm telling you. <laughs> the cards are saying everything I've already said. Um, it's just confirmation. Cut them off. This person needs to be cut off permanently. There may need to be a restraining order or a no trespassing order put on this person. Or they could have gotten one on you and tried to get you set up. So... <laughs> say you're the divine femme or divine masculine and you left them but you still had stuff on the property so maybe you went back to go get your stuff or they told you to come back and get it but they had already put a no trespassing order on you and when you come back their point is to call the police and tell them you're trespassing and you don't even know that there's a no trespassing order in effect and then your ass gets hauled off to jail and someone's like, no, no, I didn't set you up. No, it's not a setup. Yes, you did. You put the no trespassing order in place. And then you told someone to co come get their shit. You set them up. That is a setup. Somebody's spell work backfired. You did not fall for this trap. This person is obsessed. They need to let it go. This karmic energy needs to let this shit go. They hacked your accounts. They were using your photo to do spell work. Jeez. This person is frazzled because they're crying. They're crying. You made them cry because you hurt their feelings, but they'll never tell you that. They cry when they're alone. They're sad. They're sad and lonely. This person needs to move on. You need to move on in the reverse. They can't move on from you. This person needs to move on. It's like they can't. It's like they're stuck or obsessed. There's going to be a law upholding judge that's going to step in and do something about this. And it's only a matter of days. This person missed their opportunity to do whatever they were trying to do. <coughs> if they were trying to set you up, they missed their opportunity. Yeah. Someone wanted you to be bound in a situation or think you were bound in a situation, but you're the king of pentacles. You're good with money. You're good with finances. So even if somebody tried to take all your money away, you found a new way to make money or resources because that's what you do. You're a business person and you know how to save money. You're good with managing money. Somebody could have said that you weren't or they didn't realize that you were. And they tried to keep somebody trapped, um, possibly for finances, if this is a gold digger energy as well. So someone could be trying to keep somebody trapped because they want their money, not because they love them. That could have been why they had a baby with this person. Be like, oh, well, even if it doesn't work out, I'll still get child support out of their ass. Fuck you, you karmic bitch, sir, whoever you are. Children are not weapons. Fuck you for even thinking that. That's ridiculous. This person is not seen as an official person. They're not intelligent. They're not enlightened. Um, they were trying to keep people from finding out the truth. This person is not as educated as they think they are. They're not official. They think they are, but they're not. This person thinks that this karmic energy 
is on that bullshit where because they're not so intelligent, like if they tell a lie or something, they think that everyone is um, as dumb as they are. So it's like they think they're so smart. They're like, oh, yes, they'll believe this. They'll believe this um, just because they would believe some bullshit like that. But not everyone's low vibrational like that. People are actually intelligent. People actually fact check things. And so this person fucked themselves because they thought that everyone would believe a lie just because they would be dumb enough to believe it. That's how stupid they are. Whatever they're doing, it didn't manifest. They're having difficulty making finances and they lost their financial security. They can't support a family on their own. And whatever they're working on or the seeds they planted, it didn't grow. So someone is broke and they have no money and so they need this person to give them money. Somebody's playing with fire because they wanted money to burn. Whoever this is that's trying to keep this King of Pentacles energy trapped, they don't know how to save money. They're not good with money, but they need more of it because they burn through it so quickly. And this person's playing with fire because they were using shady underhanded tactics to get this money, including using corrupt law officials to do it. This person is holding a grudge. They wanted you to be scared of your own shadow. Now this person is scared or they're going to be because the shoe fits. You are a true leader. Your story adds up. Their story doesn't. Um, whatever story or narrative they're spinning, it doesn't make sense. It only proves that they were trying to rip you off. What they're saying does not make any sense. This person is a bottomless pit. Currently, they are still a bottomless pit. They want you to shut up. Someone's keeping a secret. They don't want you to know that they're just trying to get your money, but you already know because you're not an idiot. Sorry. The Divine Femme and Divine Masculine. <laughs> you're the boss. You're the King or Queen of Pentacles. You know what's going on. And you're intelligent. And you have Divine Protection. So... <clears throat> <laughs> Somebody thought you were wet behind the ears, that you would be an easy target, or they are wet behind the ears and don't know what they're doing. They're uneducated. So they thought that they could get away with this. Maybe they watched a few videos or watched a couple movies, and they're like, okay, I can do this. I watched um, <clears throat> I watched an episode of Snapped or some crazy shit like that. I know how to take someone out without being it traced back to me or some stupid shit. They could have done something back in July. It could be a Taurus that's significant or something that's going to happen during Taurus season. So April 20th during May 20th. Um, and that's a blessing in disguise. So there's something that a Taurus is doing. Um, and they could have been doing something even back in July. Um, where your birthday could be in July. Take it how it resonates. Um, but it's a blessing of disguise. There's a whole group of fish here. A fine kettle of fish that is being slippery as an eel. There's a whole group here that is trying to scramble out of the woods, but they're not going to make it. <laughs> it's like, run, run, let's split up, let's go this way, let's go that way. It's like they're all splitting up, going different directions, um, and they're like, they can't catch all of us. Someone didn't want to see the light, seeing the light in the reverse, and karma's a bitch, because somebody actually does want to team up with you, and um, someone doesn't know um, if you're ha if you have fond memories of them. Jog your memory in the reverse. So, somebody wants to team up with you, but they don't know um, how you view them or how you look at them. Um, and someone else is trying to keep this person under his or her thumb, and it's pissing them off. So, someone is having memories of you. Your divine counterpart is thinking about you having memories of you. The person that's trying to control your divine femme or divine masculine is seriously pissed the fuck off. And they did something within the last 24 hours and someone's hitting the panic button. Er, er, abort, abort, abort. Someone is losing their shit.
Yeah, because somebody wants to come towards you, shape of my heart. Um, you have a place in this person's heart, and there is no absolution for bad fish. So fishy coochie is not going to get absolution. They're not going to be absolved of whatever sins they committed. Um, someday, little by little, your divine counterpart is coming towards you step by step. They're being really slow about this shit, but that is probably because um, they're trying to leave this person out in the cold, silver and cold, or you left them out in the cold in the past because of something that happened. This whole story is stranger than fiction. Um, yeah. Someone is having really bad luck, and there's about to be a public service announcement, just how much bad luck this person is about to. Um, ooh, someone's going to be going on the run. Taking on the run in public service announcements. So there could be... Um, I'm hearing a nationwide manhunt for somebody. Ooh, damn. What did this person do? Shit. Ooh, someone's going on a rampage. Tonight the world dies. Someone could... Mm. I don't want to say that. I'm hearing a shooting spree or something or, um, oh man, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh shit. I said that. And then the very top card on there was natural born killer. Shit. There's somebody who could be going on the run. There could be a nationwide manhunt for this person. And it's come out in a reading before where someone's going to go down in a hail of bullets. Um, you already left somebody or somebody already left you they feel incomplete um yeah and then they're exploding explosivo so maybe this was your divine counterpart at one time but they went and fucked it all up yeah i don't see this one reconciling in some cases in some of my readings there's a happy ending um with someone who has been you know with it someone from the past uh but in this case this one's not going to end with a, a happily ever after because this person's going to end up having to go on the run. Um, people are going to get hurt. Mm. This one's going to end um, very badly, really, um, really, really badly for um, whoever was supposed to be your divine counterpart and did you really dirty or hurt you. Um Maybe there was a contract in the past, like a soul contract or something. But whatever contract y'all were under before, it's over. Somebody can't stop thinking about you, but it's the Page of Cups. It's a shit. This person can't stop daydreaming about you. Ace of Swords, but they told a lot of lies to keep people from seeing the truth about who they are. They hid their true personality. They didn't want anyone to see them for the sadistic person that they truly are. And you were telling the truth, the queen of swords and the upright. So you were telling the truth. You were thinking logical. You were not overreacting. You were not all up in your emotions. You were actually telling the truth about this person and no one would believe you. Because they had a lot of people hidden to the truth and the facts. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to take my white cards for a spin here. This is crazy. Yeah, someone's juggling finances. They need help. Someone could be calling to try to get you to wire them or transfer you some money. This person is the Page of Wands. Like I said, they were doing some sort of bullshit with some information. They were being childish, childish with information. They were telling lies to keep people hidden from knowing the truth about them, what they were doing, what their intentions are. And this is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this is somebody who is jealous, unemotional, or very emotional. Someone who makes decisions based on their emotions. And this is not who you are. Um, so somebody did something really stupid, childish, um, impulsive. And it's coming back to bite them in the ass in a very big way. I mean, this shit is going to hit the fan. I mean, to the... I mean, this person did some really bad stuff. They're going to be going on the run. They have some sort of addiction or obsession. The devil card. So someone has some sort of addiction or obsession. 
you have your guard up against this person, the two of swords, you have your guard up. You're feeling very protective when it comes to this person. Um, you may have had to up your spiritual protection because of this person because they keep trying to get um, into your energy. You know what? On that note, I have just a couple minutes left. I'm going to I'm going to check my Woodstock cards. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, something's being brought to light here. Something is going to be brought to light about this person. <laughs> because someone chose the wrong path. Someone got a message of concern about somebody making the wrong decision or choosing the wrong path. And something is being brought to light. I'm hearing someone say, you know, in the hangover when they call... And, the, and Bradley Cooper is like calling Tracy the chick and he's like, we fucked up. We fucked up. That's what this is. Someone got a message of concern. We fucked up. We, we made the wrong choice. We, we did the wrong thing here. We fucked up. Yeah, someone, I mean, the, the word spreading like wildfire it's like the, t the game of telephone. It's like someone got a message of concern. We fucked up. We fucked up. And now it's getting around to this group or whoever is involved in this. And um, so now they're trying to figure out how to cover up their illegal activities. What do we do now? What do we do now? Um, I don't know. You shouldn't have coached someone. Someone took, the, took some bad advice. Yeah, there's a whole group here. That's talking amongst themselves. The words getting around between all these people. Um, they're trying to figure out what, what to do. It's like they took the wrong turn. They made the wrong decision. They fell on the wrong side of the wheel of fortune. There's someone who turned their back on a karmic femme. So there's a karmic female energy involved in this. And someone's turning their back on this person. Or did turn their back on this person. Man. The web we weave. Anything? Nope. Let's check my wizard of eyes. Oh yeah, someone is shocked. How did we get caught? How did this happen? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, somebody can't believe it. How did this happen? Someone's getting multiple offers. Whether it's a divine femme or divine masculine, there was a group here working to stop someone from getting offers. And there are multiple offers coming in here. You could even be shocked at all the offers that are about to come in to you. I'm telling you, there's a lot of communication going on here. Here we go with the communication again. There's going to be some sort of communication from a lot of offers coming in, and it, this has somebody shocked. And it, this could even be you that's going to be shocked because somebody was trying to stop someone from getting on their path when it come to when it came to a love offer or somebody being empathetic, caring, or making um, a new love offer towards somebody else, and they created an illusion. So somebody tried to stop someone from being on their path by creating an illusion um, of someone that they were in a relationship with. Yeah, you're in a new cycle, and these flying monkeys can't go with you. I mean, these flying monkeys are still swarming around trying to figure out what to do. It's like they're still trying to wreak havoc, but you're already in a new cycle, and people are starting to talk about what is going on here. Oh, yeah, the flying monkeys went back and reported to the witch and um, told the witch what was going on here, and this witch is pissed off. Because your wishes are coming true and someone is a coward. So someone is being seen as a coward or being shy or bashful. Uh, but your wishes are coming true and someone's acting like, I didn't do anything. So someone's playing dumb. Someone's like, I didn't do anything. But they're like fidgeting like a motherfucker, like sweating profusely. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. What? How did... 
someone's playing dumb. The letter P could be significant person, place, or thing. <laughs> the letter V, a pavilion could be significant. O, point of view. Yeah, people are starting to see things from your point of view. <laughs> what? They were telling the truth the whole time? Yes, they were. E. D. So something's getting vetoed. So... So if there was some sort of order before, it's like getting canceled out. Someone's going to overturn a judgment or an order. I, private investigator, is going to cause something to be overturned. R, because someone was a piranha. They were just out for blood. I'm also getting that Victor could be significant. And then another V came out. So I have two V's, E, T, O, D, P, I, R. I hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.